What is? What's up, boo? La 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 gang. What's up, baby? What's popping? What's going on from the 18th to the 31st of August for a Taurus? What's going on in y'all world? Y'all got new beginnings, soulmate relations, self love in the building. Who pregnant? Congrats, Mocha love the kids. Let's rock. This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as cross watchers for the sign of Taurus from the 18th to the 31st of August. I'm late. This girl has a life. Forgive me. All right. Um, also, those of you too, uh, those of you who've not been on my channel long, okay? First time viewing. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Okay. Also, um, old subscribers. Thank y'all so much for the likes, the shares, the love, the comments, them comments though. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. I read every comment. I thank you so much for the love. Uh, to my new subbies. Hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. All right? We don't fuss. We don't cuss. We don't judge up in here. Only that, well, we know. I tells. We do cuss. I cuss a lot. And I know y'all ass be down there cussing too, so we cuss. But we uplift. We enlighten. We love. We evolve. I hope this AC is not loud. You see me to go, I, I thought about it. But we rocking, all right? So, we're going to start off, um, of course, this is not a personal, this is a general. So if you need a personal, please get in on that reading special. It ends on the 20th of this month, all right? So this is for my Summer Rise of Venus Cross Watches of Taurus. We rocking. The first message comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue. The message that wants to speak to you guys is amateur. Okay, and y'all forgive me, this Mercury retrograde is on my ass, okay? I have, I'm an Aries Sun, Pisces Moon, Libra Rising, uh, my Venus is in Gemini. G Gemini, if, <laughs> Mercury is they, they don't, it's Eminem ain't going together. So if I st 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 stutter, st st stay with me, sis. St st stay with me, bruh, okay? No harm intended. Everybody, play us fuck up too, okay? We rock it. Amateur. Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you the confidence. So again, I go that self-love. I feel like a lot of y'all are in a period of transcending um, that self-love. Okay. Let me see. This says, this card comes up whenever you find yourself stuck in your masculine energy. Because of the competitive or stressful work, or family situation. Perhaps you feel like you've had to do battle or be extra vigilant. Yet there's a time to balance that masculine energy with the nurturing gentleness of your feminine energy. It feels uncomfortable because you're fixed. We understand. I'm going to get to that too. Every person has both masculine and feminine energies within, and balancing them is essential for health and effectiveness in life. The feminine energy receives divinely inspired ideas and creative insights. And the masculine energy puts these ideas into motion. Because, I'm sorry, both are equally important as they are 50-50 partners. Too much feminine energy can lead to passive passivity, where dreams aren't acted upon. And too much masculine energy can result in uninspired or aggression, aggressive action. Prayers can help you find your balance. Once you do, you'll discover that your stress levels are reduced and you'll be able to relax when you get home from work. So I feel like it has to do with uh, some of the karmic hurdles that Taurus has been kind of over her, has kind of been hurtling through as well. Um, with my Tauruses, y'all, again, are a fixed energy, okay? And with y'all being fixed, y'all really don't like change too much, all right? Change, and a lot of y'all were also healing from mother issues. Some of y'all will definitely be healing from mother issues and having a, re a new start as well as... Uh, as, as far as it pertains to a family dynamic. So I feel like a lot of y'all had to totally evolve in self-love and learning how to move for the self, love the self, trust the self, need the self, okay, as well as grow within the self, all right? So during this time, a lot of y'all have new beginnings. Some of y'all are don't know which way to go as far as a career. I feel like with some of y'all, you have one one position that's going to do something that you love doing, okay? But I feel like the coin is okay. And then you have something that is offered to you right now. I feel like both of them, you kind of love them both, but you love more, more one more than the other, okay? So you're needing to make a decision during this time, okay, as it, revolve, as it, as it relates to your money, okay? Um, also, some of y'all are 
starting something fresh, possibly with a cancer, okay? Could also be Scorpio, Pisces, but I see strong cancer vibes here as well. Some of y'all are juggling two water signs. Some of y'all <laughs> have a cancer, I have a cancer. I definitely see cancer here, but with the two, I definitely also see um, Pisces in the building as well. But I do see that some of y'all are going to be starting something new, okay? And you need to make a decision on which way you want to go. You can't have your main boo and your side piece no more, okay? You got to figure out which way you want to go, all right? Some of y'all could have actually wanted to offer a new beginning in love, and then you're going to find out that this person is juggling a water sign in yourself. Some of y'all are um, connecting with the soulmate, a life partner, okay? Somebody who's going to be around forever, ever, forever, ever. Ever, ever, all right. This person could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, all right. Some of y'all are also embracing that feminine energy. You're learning how to let your feelings out without being so aggressive about it. Because Taurus, sometimes y'all can come off like, "What? What you said?" Not so much as the women, as the men. The men, Taurus, you gotta gotta bring that in, okay? Female Taurus, y'all third eye during this time is going to be popping trust your dreams some of y'all are going to be having um like premonitions because i'm seeing someone a couple of people who don't have to be asleep to see certain things okay a lot of y'all are going to be receiving a lot of downloads in a, while you're in a period of solitude by yourself that's what you're going to that self-love self-care for okay uh, some of y'all are definitely giving the world a poker face all right i feel like you have more than one choice to choose from during this time, somebody, some of y'all watch, watch the snakes. Y'all got people waiting on y'all come up, but they wasn't down for it. But they waiting on it though, all right? They 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 want to ask you for some money, but they wasn't down for it. Some of y'all definitely have um, an earth sign that I feel like you kind of playing. Um, or this person, you may feel like this person is kind of playing emotional chess with you. I feel like you want to offer this person stability, okay? And this person wants it's like never enough they still find a reason to be mad or angry or sad about something it's like they're not able to see what's right before them okay for some of y'all um and during this time y'all gonna make a decision which which baby which door are you going to walk through okay you can go through the door of sorrow and sadness okay living in the past woulda coulda shoulda is up in here okay or you can come out that door close it nail that mug shut or you can walk in this door of indecision, indecisiveness. What I want to do. This door requires blind faith. But some of y'all are walking through this door, but you're not communicating your feelings. You're not speaking your truth. You're not standing in your authenticity. So it's causing you to feel aloof. Okay? Speak. Say it with your chest. What the hell you want? Go get it. Don't cry about it. Don't be sitting up like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I should go. Maybe I sh what the hell you're going to do because you have one door over here that's going to offer you enlightenment. I see the apple and I immediately think the teacher. It's going to offer you enlightenment, but you see how narrow that path is? Everybody can't go with you. So if you're feeling bad about cutting folks off, just know that you are on a journey. Okay? You are on a journey. A lot of y'all are working on centering yourself, grounding yourself. You need to get out in nature so you can get your downloads the spirit is trying to give you. Some of y'all who being couch potatoes, your body mad as hell at you right now. Okay? You're on the journey. You can choose to live in this dark place or you can take all of the wisdom from this dark place, all right, to shine your light for others who's trying to get to this other side of the fence like you are, okay? You bring the beauty to things, Taurus. You can choose to live in the past in a sad place or you can choose to evolve, okay, and balance yourself out. But you can't stay in this place of indecisiveness. Also, some of y'all have been, somebody left y'all in the cold. Somebody left y'all possibly in the month of May. Okay, now this person you wanna you wanna actually start over with them. You actually feel like you possibly left a fire sign, but you actually want to start over. You want to renew it. You want something fresh. Possibly strong vibes on an Aries too with the fire sign. Let's rock, spirit. What do you have? Some of y'all, some of y'all got a karmic baby on the way, or somebody in your energy that's the Taurus have a karmic baby on the way. Whoever the, the whoever the cross watches this Taurus, give me the tea because. It's a nice amount of y'all who, that, who that's for. If a Taurus left you out in the cold, this person is coming in to reunite, but they may come in, okay, with a little extra. For somebody, our spirit said there's a woman who can't have babies. Um, 
this is actually going to balance out that family dynamic that you want, baby. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are moving away from uh, from a soulmate. You could possibly have children with this person, but you're moving away. This could also be a perspective, okay? Moving away from the way that you once seen things and the way that you wanted the, the, the way that you wanted things to go, and you're just focusing on fixing it whatever needs to be done to fix it whether it's communication okay whether it's finances some of y'all are reuniting with somebody now that you're financially stable some of y'all want to work work like work something out or reunite with the fire sign okay but you know that you have to put in the work all right um some of y'all want to start over with a fire sign possibly who you left out in the cold or they left you out in the cold okay but some of y'all are kind of being very stagnant is well not stagnant they're very slow moving about this offer here okay with this fire sign uh could also be after a period of self-love self-reflection okay you have a gemini libra aquarius they want to come in they want to put in the work they want to make a solid offer to you during this time okay and for some of y'all there is love for this person okay you could definitely work it out all right but i, I just feel like some of y'all are needing to learn the lesson of self-love before you can love anybody else. Because if you ain't right, how the hell are you going to get somebody else right? Some of y'all definitely thinking about a Pisces. Some of y'all got another baby on the way in the family situation. You and this person was going to break up, and then you found out they was pregnant. Or you will be finding that out during this time. And it's actually going to make you kind of go in analytical mode. Okay, some of y'all could also be um, offering your couple love to a Virgo as well and going into a new cycle. But y'all are definitely... Going into new cycles during this time. You're ending cycles of your life. Some of y'all are ending karmic cycles after possibly sweeping things under the rug for quite some time. Now you're learning, damn it, I got to come out and fight. I can't sweep it under the rug no more. The universe is not allowing you to. Okay? A lot of y'all going through spiritual awakenings too. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah. Some of y'all actually wanted to start something new, okay, with the Scorpio. But I feel like either you or this person is very indecisive or they're not. You and this person could also be, some of y'all could be juggling again, a counselor and a Scorpio. I feel like you want to get both of these people new beginnings, but you got to drop somebody, okay? Speak your truth because it's going to be done for you. Some of y'all, uh, some of you feel like you are, it's hard for you to move forward and make a decision, okay? It's hard for you to gain your balance during this time because you feel like you are bond like you are kind of bondage to someone you feel like there's a bunch of toxic energy around you because you feel stuck like oh my gosh but a lot of y'all during this time are going to be walking away from that all right some of y'all is a capricorn some of y'all are moving away from all this love shit and you're just going to focus on your money and you're going to look real good doing so abundant baby you see a little bit that little cute ass bird how flipped up she got a little coin purse she's nice yes honey all right. <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. <laughs> Some of y'all actually moved away from someone to allow them to focus on their money, too. And I feel like y'all going to communicate communicate that, that it was more so of a sacrifice. Some of y'all are resurrecting or trying to resurrect the family situation where there wasn't an equal give and take, okay? I feel like through stalking, now you see that this person actually has a new beginning or this person is seeing this in your energy. They see this new beginning. That you finna move on, okay? And this could be a baby mother, baby father. They see that you finna move on. And I feel like now all of a sudden with you moving on or finna move on, that now they want to come and offer this new beginning. Well, no, maybe we should start over again. Trust your intuition and trust what you feel. Right? Some of y'all have a... <laughs> some of y'all got a Virgo. Indecisive, okay? Um, Some of y'all are looking at having a mindset of, not making a decision is still making a decision, okay? Even though everything in your being wants to turn around a situation, some of y'all definitely want to. Y'all are in y'all head about juggling. I'm sorry, in y'all head about making a decision having to do with an Aquarius as well. You love this person, like you truly do. Some of y'all have a water sign soulmate. I'm sorry. This person could also be a twin flame to you, okay? Some of y'all are re reuniting with your twin flame during this time. Some of y'all are walking away from a fire sign from your past, Aries Leo Sag. Okay, this could also be the mother or father of your child. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Libra, another Taurus, all right? This person wants to come in and create with you. They want to put in the work. This could also be this person that is pregnant right now. Some of y'all have another earth sign pregnant. Taurus. 
or Libra or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of y'all are internally fighting y'all self about making a, a about giving an offer to a fire sign. All right, I feel like you're being defensive towards this person, even though you love the hell out of this person because you felt y'all ego was recently struck some kind of way. Somebody hurt your feelings. Could have been an Aries. Some of y'all left an Aries in the past with the school card. Some of y'all walked away from an Aries. Okay, even though your whole being wants to start over with this person, um, I feel like you want to be able to offer this person way more stability. This person makes you feel like maybe you don't have enough. Some of y'all want to start over a situation after feeling completely betrayed, but this had to happen in order for y'all to go through this karmic cycle. Y'all coming out of a one cycle and going on to another, okay? Some of y'all are going to get out of this defensive energy. If this is a fire sign being defensive towards you after leaving them out in the cold or them leaving you out in the cold, y'all getting ready to go into a whole new cycle with this person. For some of y'all, y'all going to work on it after finding out this person is pregnant, okay? And again, you're going to end in one cycle and going into another one, all right? Some of y'all are definitely reuniting with your kids' mothers or your kids' fathers. I should see that very strongly. Spirit. But some of y'all are moving away from indecision. Some of y'all are moving away. Some of y'all moving out the state. Congrats. Good shit, Taurus. Yeah, some of y'all are going into a new ending. Ending a karmic cycle in a family in a family dynamic, okay? It's going to get greater later, baby. It's just how you look at it. You got to learn the lessons from it. Some of y'all are going to move forward in a family dynamic, okay? Some of y'all got a baby coming to heal, heal things, okay? I feel like y'all going to move forward from all hell breaking loose in the way that y'all looked at things and did things in the past. Some of y'all are going to find out. Um, some of y'all feel like y'all was in the third party. But you really wasn't a third party. Somebody just got finessed. Somebody finessed somebody else out of some money very strongly. And it could have been for their children. It's school time. It, it, act like y'all don't know that that, that 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 women is making these people buy school. Some of y'all, y'all like prove your love. Buy these kids some damn school clothes. Look, y'all can keep it. Y'all, I'm going to keep it funky. We tell the truth up in here, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I feel like somebody got caught up. Um, trying to be slick, getting some money elsewhere. And to be honest with you, um, somebody thinks that somebody got a new beginning elsewhere with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or this could have been this person, um, coming in and offering you something very tangible. Okay. Are you offering this person something tangible? However, I do see if it was a situation like that, Taurus, you on, you're going to bounce back from it because I feel like there was a piece missing that you, Fully didn't see the full truth too, and that that's gonna hit the fan. That's gonna that's gonna hit the fan to allow you to make a solid choice that's best for you, okay? And whatever this choice is, it's definitely abundant. It's definitely gonna take you on the right path of your journey, all right? A lot of y'all walking away from karma. Some of y'all have, um, again, some of y'all have a job that's coming with something that you love doing, and some of y'all are actually gonna make this damn this damn offer, okay? <laughs> to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And for some of y'all, it's just a start. It's just literally like an offering to start over. You're having strength and working out your problems. And it could possibly involve a Pisces, okay? You could have received a message from a Pisces. This could also be a Scorpio, all right? But I do see that y'all going to move forward. It's just how you look at it, okay? You have to balance out the masculine and the feminine energies, though, because they allow your perspectives to shift depending on if you're stuck in too much of one energy and not enough of the other, all right? I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between the mid-month of August. I will see y'all back in September, and I love you, babies. Toodles.